Hi, my name is Brandon Ayers. I'm a cornea specialist. My practice spans the Pennsylvania, New Jersey border, and I've got offices in both states. So I thought we'd take a drive to the office today and take a look and see what we're doing in our office to try and get patients in and out safely uh, in the midst of a coronavirus pandemic. Coronavirus has changed everything. The time of my commute to work, even how I get my coffee in the morning. I now have to drink this entire coffee before I get to the office. Because once I get to the office, I'll put my N95 mask on. It makes it hard to drink your coffee. I guess if that's my biggest problem, we're doing okay. So we're here at our office in New Jersey. And as you guys may know, New Jersey was one of the epicenters of the coronavirus pandemic. And I really wanted to show how we use technology in the office and what we're doing in the office to try and see patients, see patients efficiently. We screen patients, we're doing temperature checks on everybody. We move patients through the office trying to maintain social distancing, not only with our patients, but also with our office staff. And we're probably gonna do some telemedicine visits today as well to try and, and allow more clinical volume being done in the office without having patients actually have to come in. So with coronavirus, we've had to change almost everything in the office. Our waiting room, we've got spaced out with social distancing uh, so that we only have about every other chair open and we've removed a lot of chairs from the waiting area so that patients really can't be close to each other. If you look at our front desk, we've got Lexan in front of all of the, the front desk employees. So there's really no way for a patient to come into any direct contact with our front desk. We'll have patients wait in their cars until their office visit is getting closer. Some of the technical staff will be watching the patient flow and when patients need to come back in, they'll give the car a call to bring that patient into the office. And this is really the hub of the office. This is where all the diagnostics happen. Then everything from here will get uploaded into Veracity so we can see it as we move from patient to patient. Some of our busier equipment is our IOL Master 700. And back here in the corner, we have our Claris 500 uh, Fundus Photography System. Uh, once I know a patient is in there, I simply can call the patient up on my, my tablet. And I do most of this on my tablet, and I carry this from room to room, and only I touch my tablet, nobody else does. In this case, I can already see the patient's topography, and I can already review their biometry. So I've got a pretty good sense as to what's going on in that room, even before I walk in. Now we'll go in, take a look at the patient, talk to the patient, and try and get them in and out of the office in an efficient manner. And so this sterilization process happens after every patient enters and leaves the room. Uh, unless the same patient is coming back to the room again. Uh, and honestly, we try and prevent how many times a patient has to come and go. So once a patient exits, there's actually a technician assigned to clean the room. So the cheat, the seats, the slit lamp, the chin rest, the tonometer comes off and gets alcohol sterilized. The four-opter would get cleaned and all of the services are also, are also sterilized. We're using more and more telehealth visits to help us uh, minimize patients' need for travel and also allow us to stay productive in the office while not bringing patients in. So all through using Veracity, we're able to look at topography, IOL masters, look at implant selections, change implant selections without having to have the patient physically come here, even reach out to the patient and touch base, confirming what the patient's needs and desires were for cataract surgery. More and more, we're trying to rely on telemedicine where we can. It's not perfect for everything, but uh, just by using my tablet or my computer, we're able to get patients in and out of the office or treat patients not even coming into the office uh, using our uh, advanced technology. There's two projects that I'm trying to work on here. One is making sure that we have all the data set up for remote visits with retina. According to the retina docs, if we can show them a wide field fundus photo, which we now can, and an OCT of the macula, and some kind of a clinical photo, they can take that and do a televisit. So it saves us from sending our patients over to retina or asking for like an urgent or emergent visit, especially for patients who've traveled in. Right. I think that's going to save us a lot of time, save our patients a lot of time. It'll keep them from having to travel around. And the second thing that we were talking about was working with our glaucoma docs and trying to set up remote diagnostics for glaucoma. So I think that's our next level at using uh, Veracity and our technology is, is, is remote diagnostics and visits even when the doc's not here. Mm -hmm. Try and save time and money. Great, thank you. All right, thank you. The coronavirus pandemic has really changed almost everything we do 
uh, in the office. Our objective was to use technology to our advantage. Instead of always going to look at all the diagnostics in the office, try and bring all the diagnostics to us, make the diagnostics simpler, and allow the doctor to make more decisions and spend less time doing the exams. Hopefully you can take some of the information and some of the ideas that we've shown here in this video and you can implement it in your own office to try and get patient throughput a little bit more efficient, faster, and safer. This video was brought to you by our filmer, Courtney Ayers. She's the master, also a pretty good soccer player.